Praise the Lord. We won't be moved. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Are you happy for the message? Are you happy for the messenger? Are you happy to be part of the bride of Jesus Christ? Don't that just feel good to say that? It does. Praise the name of the Lord. It makes me feel really good. the Lord. I want to start singing I'm one of them. I'm just kidding. Not really. I'm happy to be one of them. I'm happy to be identified with the bride of Jesus Christ. What a time that we're living in. I'd like to welcome you all that are here and welcome all of our visitors. I know we got quite a few. How many visitors do we have here tonight? Would you raise your hand? Well, God bless you and welcome. I see a lot of PA people here. So God bless you and welcome. It's nice to have you all here and all of our visitors. And the ones through the hookup, we're glad to have you all part of the bride of Jesus Christ, united together. We're here as a church that we just listen to God speaking through human lips. That's what we do here at this church. Amen. God speaking through human lips. And we won't have it no other way. It's settled. It's settled for us. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You can be seated. The eagles are, the carcass is here, so the eagles have gathered together. It is that word. There's no way around about it. We are that predestinated ones to see it. He said there was only a select group of people and at a select time that would see it. And it couldn't be until this day and this time, and we happen to be that people. Thank the Lord for that. Amen. Amen. He said that we are the word joining the word. Oh, we're going to have a wonderful time tonight, brothers and sisters. Oh, thank the name of the Lord. The bride is here today and listening in. And they're from all different parts of the states. They're from different nations. They're from different countries from around the world. Because we're hungry and we're thirsting. To hear God being manifested in his word. Manifested, he said, that's to bring to life. That we see the message is coming. It's a living message. It is truly the greatest time in all of history is right now. Today. Today is it. Where we are. And you say, well, you say that a lot. Uh, it, it's, it's true. To think that they all wanted to live in this time. They all wanted to be here. They all wanted to see the scripture being fulfilled in their very day. And this is the time when it's happening. He said even greater than the time when Jesus Christ was here. It's right now. Because all the fulfillment of all the word. We are the fulfillment of the word. telling us who, when, where, and what to look for. The scriptures, they are God's thoughts expressed through the lips of his prophet. He says it wasn't a man that wrote that Bible. He said it was God's thoughts. He thought it and he spoke it through the lips of his prophets. He said God moved their hands. God moved their eyes with vision. He controlled their tongue. He controlled their finger. Every organ of their body he controlled. God wrote the Bible. Oh, oh, oh man. And that same God's going to speak to us tonight. Hey. Praise the name of the Lord. You may be seated. That same God did the same very things through this prophet. He controlled him completely. 
He was totally surrendered out to him. It was written over 2,000 years ago, prophecy that was going to come to pass in these last days. That's what's written in here. That's what's written in here. He says, and what with that prophecy? That Jesus Christ is the same in every detail, Amen. except for the physical body. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. That scripture has been fulfilled in our very day. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Sorry, you may be seated. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. I love that quote. I just had to say it again. Amen. It ties it all together for the bride of Jesus Christ. That's where he said it would be so close, it would deceive the very elected. Oh, thank the name of the Lord. He prophesied in Malachi 4. He told us. He told us what to look for. That's what he said. I tell you what to look for. I'm going to send you Elijah the prophet. And he said he'll have healing campaigns. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He says that we'll grow up like calves in a stall. We all know what calves in the stall eat, don't we? Stored up food. That's prophecy to me. Revelations 10, 1 through 7. He said, I'll send you a voice. Amen. He didn't say voices. <laughs> he said voice. He'll send a voice to call out a bride. Amen. In Zechariah 14, what is the attraction on the mountain, on Sunset Mountain, Amen. in the Coronado Forest? Earthquakes, pyramids of smoke rising into the air. Jesus in the sky with a white wig on. And he says the angels where it's his very wings in the sky. That is prophecy that was fulfilled in our day. It happened in Sunset Mountain. Seven angels came down, picked him up. There he was. Praise the name of the Lord. Luke 17, 30. He said, the son of man will be revealing himself in this last day. He said, he'll do as he did with Abraham. Know the very secrets of the heart. That's how you'll know him. He says that they could mock everything else, but they couldn't do that. He said only God could do that. So the one we're looking for can only do that. He did like he did in Jesus, reveal himself again in human flesh. It's what he did with Jesus. It's the same in every detail except for the physical body. He'll do the same thing. St. John 15, 26. I'll send the comforter, yes. the spirit of truth, and he will testify of me. somebody there. He, he may be seated. St. John 16, 12 through 15, the spirit of the truth will guide you. Uh, we know our God, don't we? Praise the name of the Lord. And he shall not speak of himself. Hmm. He'll show you things to come. He'll show you things that are not even written, that are written in the Bible, that are mysteries that's been hid forever. Ages, seals, beyond the curtain of time, who you are, the rapture, the future home. Hey, I know this guy. I know this guy. Praise the name of the Lord. You may be seated. Now, every time that the church gets mixed up, and God foreknew they would, for he foreknew all things. 
therefore he has a certain prophet ready for that age. Ooh, that's rich. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for letting that prophet be ready for this age. Amen. Praise the Lord. To call his electing by his vindicated word of signs and wonders and confirmation of his word. Confirming the word with signs following. As he promised, he gives the true interpretation after the prophet himself has been vindicated. So I'll just go down and I'll have my picture taken with him. So I can show the world, hear ye him. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The vindicated prophet with a pillar of fire. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. May be seated. God can speak. God can write. God can do anything. And he lives in human flesh. I see it right there. We're part of that bride. Called out bride. Predestinated. Scripture. Your scripture fulfilled. Oh man. Thank you Lord Jesus. And now. The climax. Ah, what's going to take place tonight? He says we come under anticipation. You come under ready. You know what? When you come in that building, we were like some people that we're going to hear about exactly like them almost 2,000 years ago. We're walking on the road to Emmaus one day. They're walking and somebody appeared to them. The same one in chapter Luke, St. Luke chapter 24. He appeared to them in flesh on the road. Amen. And he started talking to them. And today he's going to start talking and go from Abraham... And he's going to speak all the way down through all the prophets to the book of Revelations, which is God himself speaking. He said it wasn't John. He said that was God himself speaking. He will expound to us all the scriptures concerning himself. He'll be identifying himself tonight with these scriptures to confirm it us. To reveal to us that today, this day, this scripture, this message is being fulfilled. And we're here. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. We want to be just like those on the road to Emmaus. And it is. As he talked to him along the way, he was revealing to him. He said the scriptures, as Brother Branham brings it out. He says, well, look at here. You should have known this. 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 They should have known who that he was. It's the same today. All those scriptures, plus so many more, we have no idea. There's so many that identified who's walking with us in this day. This message. This messenger. And God created that man a special person. For the bride of Jesus Christ. You believe that? God does his own choosing. By predestination. Chooses the prophets for every age. He fixes the nature of that prophet. To fit that age. He fits his style. Oh man. Fits his style for us. Whatever he does. He fits him. Whether he's educated or not educated. He fits the gift. The manner that he'll preach in. The gifts that he'll have. And the message for that certain age. God's predestinated that certain thing to happen. And there's not another that can take its place. There's nothing else can take the place of that. He chose the one. He makes the man of the hour to catch the people of the hour. We are that people of the hour. And nothing can take his place. Nothing else. There's one vindicated. There's one messenger. There's one voice. There's one prophet. Oh, pray. And his name's William Marion Branham. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. (laughs) 
read you one more quote. It just touches my heart. What Jesus did then, as I said, with walking with them on the road to Emmaus, he's doing it tonight. The word itself, quoting the word of himself. Let me say that again. The word itself, quoting the word of himself. I know that's going to be really misunderstood. He said they spoke as God themselves. It was the word for that day. We're not making Brother Branham Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. But God chose the man. He chose his character. He chose his personality. He chose everything about him. And tonight, he is going to be quoting the word of himself. When he says, you don't think he knows? Malachi 4. I'll send you Elijah the prophet. He knew who he was. He said when he got, was down on the river, he says, you notice the word came to the prophet in the river, on the water. He knew he was. He says, I've held that in my heart all these years. It was revealed to us. Doesn't this sound just like him? Not tell them what he was, but just tell the word speaks for itself. Amen. Then they know who he was. The letter of the word quoting the word. The word in flesh quoting the word of the letter being fully identified with himself. Oh, what a privileged people that we are. What a time that we're living in to know that we have the true revelation of this message. When so many of them were back there fellowship and the Pharisees and Sadducees, you know, as they knew the letter back and forwards, upside down. I was praying, this, Lord, those men, I'm not qualified people. I'm not qualified to stand up here in front of you. But I believe this word with all my heart. And it is this message that is perfecting the bride of Jesus Christ. It's not important that you know every word, every letter, and everything else like the Pharisees and Sadducees. It's that you believe every word. Stay with that voice. Stay with this message. Stay with that messenger. God sent him. He attracted our attention. Halos and shatters. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. I'm so thankful to be part of that bride with you. I'm thankful to be identified with a portion of the bride here in this building, here listening in, national, international. There's only one thing can do that, this message. This message, it's bringing, it is the shout that goes forward that unites the bride together. And then what happens? The rapture. It's happening. It's happening. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us, let us bow our heads. How thankful we are, Lord Jesus. How under great anticipation. And truly, we want to be like those from Emmaus. He walked to him along the way, talking about himself, who that he was. He would quote the scripture and say, didn't he fulfill that scripture? He quoted another scripture. Didn't he fulfill that scripture? Scripture after scripture after scripture. What we've been listening to for weeks. He told us to watch out for the anointed ones. Be careful. Stay with the word. Then he tells us exactly who that he is. But right before, it was getting dark. And he acted like he was going to go on. What did he want, he said? He wanted them to invite him. Oh, Lord, we invite you, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. Open up our hearts. Reveal to us your word. Whatever we have need of, give it to us tonight, Lord. 
Whatever that we're missing, give it to us. Take it away, whatever that the sin that so easily besets me, Lord. Whatever I have need of, Lord. And tonight, you even provided that for us, Lord. As your prophet said, we don't need the vindication to prove to who you are, to have a prayer line. We believe. We believe right where we're sitting. And we've seen you confirm your word. You have in our midst raised the dead. You have healed cancer when they said there was no hope. You've mended the broken hearts. You've healed sicknesses. You've touched me and my body. You've healed your people. We are like the children of Israel when they're in the promised land. What are they in need of? He said he had that little script. I'm the Lord thy God that heals you all. We have that script night after night, week after week. We come here, lay hands on one another and whatever you have need of, you can have it. Tonight, your prophet will do the exactly the same thing and cast out every devil that's here. So whatever we have need of, Lord, you give it to us. You give it to us. It's ours. Give us the faith, Lord Jesus, to accept what you've given to us, Lord. For we know, Lord, that you're here with us. You're here in this building with us. You're here on the hookup, wherever they are, in their cars, in their hospital rooms, whatever country that they're in. You're almighty God. And we thank you, Lord, that we can be in your presence. Oh, in the presence of Jehovah, God.